Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Uh, we're going to get into Terrence Crawford and Madrimov, uh, Israel Madrimov, and what should be a, a really good fight. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie uh, comes out to you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing uh, consistently. I show you how to bring down the house. Uh, join the Patreon. Uh, get get the lock of the week. Uh, the lock of the week comes at you. Uh, we, we hit you with the lock of the week every single week. We also give you a ton of other parlays, prop bets that you can make money on, props that haven't dropped yet. Uh, we get ask the bookie anything, ask me to handicap a fight, make a video of a fight, uh, do all of that for you. Just five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. Uh, also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all, let's get into this. Uh, let's let's get into this. Um, Israel Madrimov, short, stocky, and strong fighter. Uh, stays patient and, and composed and, and works behind a high guard. Front foot guy, good feet, moves in and out well. Nice punishing jab. He's got a real shotgun jab, hard jab. Uh, he's defensively responsible. He, he stays behind the hard, high guard. A high guard, good power, throws hard, commits to the shots. Not a not a high volume guy. Uh, selective with his shots, but accurate with his power. Accurate with his shots, commits to his shots. Those accurate, clean, hard shots that really have pretty has pretty good hand speed, pretty good power behind it. His shots make you feel it. He dents you. He, he hurts you with his shot. Uh, great feet, and he, he keeps. Dodging shots and and he judges distance really well. He's in he, he he's he's in control of distance. He does a lot of things well. This is a good fighter. And originally when I watched this, when I was watching the tape, I'm like, Yo, Majumov's got a real shot in this fight. Majumov is a lot better than people give him credit for. Throws hard shots, judges distance well. Uh, takes educated risk. He's a gunslinger a little bit, but he does it in in, in a highly calculated way. Uh, he never leaves himself. Totally open to be counted when he when he's taking risks. He, he, he's uh he takes smarter risks than this. like say Tiafimo Lopez, who I think takes dumb risks. He takes educated risks. Uh mixes up levels really well. Jabs his way in. Uh his footwork is get good getting in and out. He, he stays behind a jab. He's got a powerful jab. He, he works in, he gets in behind it, and then when he's on the inside, he mixes up levels really, really well. Majimov is a very good fighter. The only problem is that he's facing a great fighter, an all-time great fighter, about a perfect fighter. Um, you know, if I was to take Terrence Crawford into the gym and he said, what do we need to work on? What do we need to improve? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Terrence Crawford is about the perfect fighter. Uh, Terrence Crawford, good timing, completely in control, two-fisted fighter, two-fisted power fighter, switches between... Both stances, conventional and orthodox. Great speed, really good jab, long, controls the ring, controls the range, closes the range when he wants to. Uh, he starts a bit slow. That's one thing I, I've noticed with him. He's a, a little bit of a slow starter. I don't love that. You can go back and you can watch Cal Brook. You can watch uh, Mean Machine. You can watch a lot of these fights over and over again. The one kind of flaw I have in him is he starts slow. So if I'm fighting him, I jump on him from the opening bell. I just jump on him. Now, the second round, he got cooking in the Spence fight, and people remember that. But if you go back and you really study the tape, uh, he starts slow. He, he does start slow. So I would try to get – if I'm Majin Ball, I try to get – I try to end the fight early. I mean, that's probably not possible, but I try to get the lead early in the fight. I, I try to jump off to a lead, really start to damage him and dent him and try to slow him down in those first couple of rounds, try to take any momentum from him. Now, he's a master counterboxer, a master counterpuncher. So – it's easier said than done. I'm just saying, like, you know, if you have to pitch to Barry Bonds, how do you pitch to him? I don't really know, but maybe this will work. Like, I'm not – how do you fight Terrence Crawford? I don't know, but maybe – I can't think of any better way to fight him. I, I'm not saying this is going to work. I have no better option. He's that good of a fighter. Uh, he's getting old. He's 36, so he's aging. He's he, But he hasn't really shown that at all yet. But that could come. 
Like I said, he's a great counter puncher, but he also leads. He uses his jab. He fires behind the jab. He can switch the stances, uh, makes you miss, and stays out of the way. He's a perfect offensive and defensive fighter with good speed, good range, good volume. It's just, I mean, I, I, this is why. This is why he does this to people. There's no weakness in him at all. Good crisp shots from the outside. Uh, good when he when he's counter when he counts one at a time when he pop shots you clean accurate. There's just really like no box to check. He's got one punch power. He throws good combinations. The accuracy and power is in both hands. He got every possible punch in his arsenal. Like when I was watching this, and I'm impressed with Majinov. Like yo, Majinov might have some for me. Then you go and you really study Terence Crawford. He can slip, makes you miss while coming forward. Like, there's nothing he there, – there, there's no flaw. There's no weakness. There, there's not. Like, I, 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 I try. The only thing I can come up with is he starts slow and he's old, but he hasn't even shown his age yet. So, you guys get where I'm going with this. I, I want to give uh, love to Madrid. Well, Crawford has stopped everyone at 47. Uh, he, he hasn't gone the distance. I, I, I don't even have it on top of my head. Um, let's see the last time Terrence Crawford has gone the distance. Victor Postal, Victor Postal back in 2016. He hasn't gone the distance in eight years. That's incredible. He has not gone the distance in eight years. So you guys know where I'm going with this. You guys, I you know, if you're smart, which I I, I know y'all are, are super smart. I know y'all are super high IQ. So I'm taking Crawford at minus 750. And I'm taking, where is it? Crawford by KO, TKO, and DQ. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to do 150 on Crawford on the money line. And I'm going to take. I have a bet. So I'm going to make it two times better on this fight because I like this fight. 150 It's going to only make me $20. These odds keep getting worse and worse for Crawford, which they should. You know, I wanted to give Madrid off a shot too, but when you really set the tape, he has no shot. Uh, Crawford by KO, TKO, DQ, pays minus 135. I would throw 50 down on that. So it's 50. that would make me 37 The other would make me $20. Sorry, $200 bet uh, makes you $57. And if we don't hit on the the stop is you still uh, kind of cover yourself. You only lost thirty dollars on that bet, um, so this is a, a good way to hedge your bet. I would make a t- one and a half times bet that Crawford wins the fight, and half your normal bet that Crawford wins by stoppage. Uh, you can up that if you want. Again, he stopped everyone at forty-seven, but this is at fifty-four. Uh, but that's what I got. Um, this is a good fight, and, and Crawford on the money line is a great fight to add to your parlay. He's obviously going to win. He's a terrific fighter. Uh, again, I, I wanted to try to. Make an argument for Majumov. I really did because I like Majumov. There's just no argument for him. Like, he's not going to win, and that's unfortunate. It was not unfortunate. It's not going to be hyper close. And, and watching Majumov first, I started to take on Majumov first before I got to Crawford, and, and I was really, really hyped. I was hyped as hell, really, for what I saw in Majumov, thinking he's got a shot. He's got a legit shot. And then I started to take on Crawford, like, he's got no shot. All right, let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, did I pull that up? Hang on, let me, let me just pull this up one more time in case I have not. Did I show this to you guys? I, I have to mention I don't remember if I showed this to you guys. But there's the bet. Uh, easy bet to make. 150 on the money line, time and a half. But I always say your average, your typical bet, your normal bet, I always use 100 just because it's easy number to use. So one and a half times that would be 150. Uh, it would make you $20. And Crawford on the money line, $50 bet. Makes you thirty-seven oh three. So it makes you if that hits, it makes you fifty-seven oh three on a two hundred dollar bet, which is not terrible. All right, y'all. Um, that is it. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to join the Patreon link is in the description. It is July twenty eighth, twenty twenty four, uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.